put oxygen and hydrogen atoms bond together to form the characteristics of water. We have oxygen and hydrogen forming standing waves over a period of time in the form of water molecules. In this theory, the atoms do not just form standing waves over a period of time, but they form their own future relative to their energy and momentum. The water molecules will do this by continuously forming and breaking hydrogen bonds relative to the flow of the water. The molecules of water are continuously moving in relation to each other and the hydrogen bonds are continuously breaking and reforming. This process forms dipole moments with the separation of charge with the absorption and emission of photon energy. In this theory this represents the future coming into existence within the reference frame of the water relative to the energy and momentum of the water molecules. Because time and space are interlinked in this theory it makes sense that if you increase the temperature of the water you will increase the photon energy increasing the space between the atoms of the water as time unfolds photon by photon. If the increase in temperature continues the increase in space and time formed by photon energy will be too great and the atoms of the water will break away and we have a change of state from liquid to gas in the form of the creative nature of steam. This process also fits in with observations if you decrease the temperature there will be less photon energy for the breaking of hydrogen bonds that allow the movement of the atoms as a liquid. Therefore if the decrease in temperature continues there will be a change in state from liquid to a solid in the form of ice. Note the atoms still form their own future relative to their position in this case the decreasing temperature and this can be seen in the individuality and diversity of snowflake formation. There are no two patterns of snowflakes the same in the world. This diversity is formed by supple changes in photon energy that in this theory represents part of a process of continuous creation at the quantum level of the atoms. This diversity is possible because we have a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that even with only two types of atoms of hydrogen and oxygen can form an infinity of possibilities that we see as snowflake diversity. In this way the probability of quantum mechanics known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle can be seen as the same uncertainty we would have with any future event that we can interact with from the center of our own reference frame turning the possible into the actual. Therefore carbon-based life is able to create its own future relative to its actions. In this theory creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. It will help in the promotion of this theory.